The only story on our plate this week is a report from MCV that says within six months of the NX's launch, Nintendo will release a new Mario game for NX, and Game Freak will bring Pokemon to the console. Uh, it also says Breath of the Wild launches for NX within six months of the console launch. Um, MCV doesn't say anything about its source for that claim, and all subsequent reports of this story cite MCV, so it's not super solid. But what do we think? True or trubbish? Um, I'm... I'm mixed a little bit, because definitely Zelda will launch within the first six months, obviously. Um, yeah. I'm very mixed on Mario, because uh, Miyamoto said recently that maybe they'll be able to show the new form of Mario at E3, which means that they're, which means to me that they're not super confident in that, and if they're not super confident in whether, whether they can bring it to next E3, that doesn't really give us a lot of confidence that it'll launch six months out from NX. So that gives me pause. But maybe they are super confident in Galaxy 3. I, I mean, yeah, maybe mm-hmm. there's a traditional Mario mm-hmm. game that they're, they're preparing also. That's always possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have no reason yeah. to really believe that they're, they're really that far ahead on a new Mario game. Um, outside of it's been a few years since Mario. Um, and then right. the, the Pokemon rumor... I actually think Game Freak will be a lot more uh, quick to bring out a mainline Pokemon game to NX just because of the sort of position NX is going to be in for the future, where it's the yeah, big I agree. handheld platform that all of Japan, at least, and hopefully most of the West will be focused on. But in the mm-hmm. first six months, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I- I'm with you on that. Um, like, uh, let's t- I'll take these you know piece by piece. Breath of the Wild was a given. No problems there. Um, the core Mario team has been silent for three years now, and Nintendo said that they're working on new Mario games for NX in the past, so I don't think there's any problem there. Um, you know, maybe they're not super confident in this, quote, new kind of Mario, but that also might not be, like, the next 3D Mario. We yeah. have no idea yeah. what that might be. Or 2D um, Mario, even. I don't... Right. It, like, there might just be another new Super Mario Bros. game. <laughs> Whatever it is, Mario, I don't think there's any issue there. Um, the sore thumb is that Game Freak is working on a Pokemon game. Like, it's not any of the spin-off developers, it's Game Freak. Um, and you're right, I think that given the position NX will be in, they'll want to do it sooner rather than later. But, um, you know, it, it's possible that there could be some kind of enhanced third version to Sun and Moon that they would make for NX. But that doesn't seem that plausible. Um, Not that early, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it, it, and I mean, 8th generation, I can't imagine that, really. You know, that that seems <laughs> less plausible to me. Um, unless they've got a whole, you know, huge other team working on that already. Um, but it's, it's also possible that the author heard Pokemon and just jumped to the conclusion that Game Freak was behind it. When in truth, it's someone like Genius Sonority making a new battle game or something like that. Yeah, either the author or their source. That was kind of my thought, too. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think there's a nugget of truth here. And I think that this report would be dead on if it said nothing about Game Freak. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to have to go with Trubbish. So, I'm pretty much in line with what you guys have said. I expect Breath of the Wild to be a launch day title. I don't really see any reason why it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And I expect some sort of Mario game within the first six months of launch, because this is a new Nintendo console. Of course, there's going to be some sort of Mario game within the the first six months of launch. Uh, It may not be that new form of Mario that Miyamoto teased, like you said, but there's going to be something from Mario. Um... So honestly, those first two just feel like completely safe bets to me. But like you said, where, where it gets a little tricky is when it comes to this Pokemon game from Game Freak. Uh, from Game Freak. Game Freak. And Freep. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like you, I'm, I'm, I'm a little little skeptical of that. I kind of think it might be something maybe lost in translation a little bit here. Like I said, either the source or the author. Or, uh, who knows? <laughs> maybe they'll surprise yeah. us. But I don't expect a third version of uh, Sun and Moon that soon after the, it, that just doesn't make any financial sense well I mean wait. Sun and Moon is going to come out in November the first six months of the NX is going to be from right that would that'd still be less than a year though even at the maximum amount it would be less than a year it'd be ten months which is nah I think they I mean they, they usually wait about what 18 months or so before for releasing a third entry so I, I can't see that and like you said there's just no way it's Gen 8 so I'm going to go with mostly true maybe just a, a hint of trebuch in there does anyone think it's possible they're uh, going to use the Sun and Moon engine and instead of making like some kind of third version, they would so, uh, remake Kanto? That was actually what I was thinking they were going to do because the time is right. Uh, uh-huh. The new platform image 
plus the Pokemon Go popularity makes yeah, it the Gen perfect one time. Yeah, Gen 1 hype has never been stronger. Yeah. Um, if they're going to link anything up to Pokemon Go, that would be what they would do, is, is a Gen 1 remake. Um, yeah. So that was actually my thought the entire time, was it, it might be a Gen 1 remake. Okay, interesting. Um, going off of that idea, you know, I think if they're going to do something big with Pokemon... I would personally rather they just reboot it, get rid of some of those garbage designs, stop it with Mega Evolution, stop with all the stuff that makes Pokemon too hard to follow, because uh, it's just nuts at this point. I know I'm going to get a lot of a lot of fire for this, but uh, I think they should just throw everything out the window, start from scratch with all the stuff that they know was really great. Um, draw from you know all the different generations, but draw only the elements that are really cohesive and, and make a great fundamental experience that can translate from Pokemon Go back over to you know the main series games, um, and use Kanto and that that sort of story and setting to to reboot Pokemon's mechanics. But uh, I know that's never going to happen. I know Game Freak loves just throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks on top of what meals they already have. But that's I can hope. Hello everybody, thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.